ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Project High Rise Las Vegas. I certainly hope you're having a wonderful day because I'm certainly excited to be back here at Nerdresoft Towers where things... Things are going pretty well, to be honest. We're almost getting 5,000 per day in rent. We're currently on 4,965. We are making about $1,335 per day in profit. And I'm feeling pretty good about it. We are quite close to being able to pay back this loan. And if we can do that, we'll be saving $300 per day. So that's definitely something I would like to look into. Before we get to that, though... I'm kind of thinking that I might expand the building a little bit. I'm thinking that might be a good idea. Whether we go for more cafes, whether we go for more offices, I don't know. But I kind of want to expand horizontally rather than up, upwards. Uh, because we can avoid building another elevator and getting more garbage and all that stuff. So it might be an easy way to make some money. I don't know... I don't know if it's a good idea, though. We'll see. Uh, we do, of course, have a couple of different things we can build. We could get the medium offices in here now if we really wanted to, which wouldn't be a terrible idea. We can get the small one-bedroom apartments, which are a bit bigger than the studio apartments. And we can also get ourselves small stores, which, to be honest, I'm kind of interested in. I might very well get rid of these two guys here and throw one store in there. So if we get rid of those... We can go and get ourselves a store, and we do have a contract to get four small stores in here, so we could go for food and beverages, portable electronics, books, news and magazines, drug stores, flower stores, wine and spirits, or souvenirs. I'm thinking... I'm thinking books, news, and magazines. Oh, we can't do that. We would need more storerooms. So we need storerooms in general for the stores, so what we'll do is go to storage, and we'll get ourselves a storage space. We could go down even further into the building if we really wanted to, or into the ground if we really wanted to. I'm thinking that I, uh, oh, hello, what did we do? 175, uh, 1725 yesterday? Okay. That's totally fine by me. I think we'll just extend this way a little bit to, uh, get the storage space down there. That seems like a bit of a better idea to me. So if you guys could, uh, there we go, get that built. We can get ourselves some storage down there. Then we have 170 and 170 per day in rent. 350 to build up front. 220 and 220 for 350 up front. Uh, 170, 170. 240 up front is not bad. Uh, 175. Uh, so the drug stores are really where it's at. Or portable electronics. The problem is I don't know if we need to put a portable electronics place there. I'm sort of feeling that the books, news, and magazines, or food and beverages would be sort of where it's at. It's a weird location for a store, though, as well. That's a bit of a problem. I mean, I don't think it's going to make much difference, but, um, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely thinking it could be a bit of a weird spot for it. Plus, they're like high traffic areas, so they might not be too happy there. Uh, portable electronics is going to want a phone line. I think I'll go for the portable electronics just for the 220 per day in rent. So we'll get them a phone line as well. And we'll bring it out to there. And we'll get that, that uh, store in there and hope for the best. Now what I think we'll also do is we will extend this way a little bit. And we will get more offices in there. So one, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. We can get two more offices on either side here. If we really want to. So we'll get all that in there. We'll get that all built up and everything should be fine. We actually have this place working here, which is beautiful to see. Two employees open from 7 until 9. Uh, and it has 100% rent. That's totally, totally fine by me. Uh, no one seems to be complaining either, which is super great news. Really, really happy to see that no one's really complaining. Uh, I'm a little bit worried about the... Yeah, we have 39 connections to this, so... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, we can't actually fill this up with offices because we'd need more electricity. We're getting there with the phone lines as well. Uh, we're producing 20 potential connections. We're using 15. And we have w room for one more water connection. Uh, gas lines I'm not too worried about. But yeah, we are going to have to upgrade the phone lines and also the... Apparently we did this. Beautiful. Uh, we're going to have to upgrade a couple of things is what I'm getting at. So let's see how we're doing here in terms of contracts. What else can we do? Get up to 50 people. We're about to do that, so we'll take that. 
And we still need to get the four stores in here. Let's give that a shot. Let's do the stores over here. Let's do one, two, three stores there, and then we can get some offices up here, and we're not going to have to worry about the power connections. This should be totally fine. So that's an electronics store. This one can be food and beverages. This one can be books, news, and magazines. And this one can be souvenirs, possibly? Maybe? Maybe flower stores? I don't know. Drug store? Let's do a drug store. We'll get those in there and we'll see what they need. Obviously, oh hello. We did a thing. Not bad. Uh, let's give these guys electricity. Because they're obviously going to need that anyway. Uh, so that's that place up and running. We have two of the four small stores. We can actually take another contract if we really want to. It wants 100 people. It wants 10,000 per day. It wants 12 medium offices. 50 office workers in the building. Uh, what is this? 50 new residents. 10 studio apartments. We're almost there. We actually have 8 out of, uh, out of the 10 anyway. So it's not going to take long to uh, get that done. We could, in fact, just build up again if we really wanted to. And to be honest, I think we'll do that just to get the extra apartments in there. So we'll get that done. We have done the retail thing as well, which is not bad. Throw that there. Uh, so you need a phone line. So we'll get you your phone line. There you go. Not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, let's go ahead and get the garbage just up here, which we're going to need for that spot. Then we need a wiring closet, we need plumbing closet, and we're good. Not bad, not bad. I'm actually really happy with how this place is developing. It feels like it's developing quickly as well. Like This, this feels like good progress we're making right here. I'm quite happy with it. Uh, so what else can we do? 100 people. Let's go 10,000 per day. Because I think that's going to be a good uh, next step. I think, I think that's where we're going next. I think we're going for the 10,000 per day. So we'll see what happens. You guys just get that built. We'll get the two more studio apartments there. Uh, we could load more offices into this space. And I think, to be honest, I will. I could put medium. Oh, I can put medium offices in, the, uh, in that spot. Let's just go for six new regular offices. Now, what are you? You're, uh, you're creatives. And you're creatives as well. So let's get a bunch of creatives in this, these, uh, these two floors. So we'll get them all in there. I'm a little bit worried about the phone connections. That might cause some problems. Uh, you are accountants. So we'll get you, and we'll get uh, you as well. And we'll see what happens. We might have some issues with the phone lines, but I'm, I'm hopeful that we'll be okay here. Now, you obviously need a phone connection, and so does your buddy there. So we'll just run phone connections through all of that and see what happens. If we start seeing some issues with the phone lines, we can just, we can fix it. It's not a big deal. Also, I realize we have, um... We have buzz, so we can do some things here. If we want to spend some buzz on this, we can increase the satisfaction for apartment residents. We can bring gas and cable construction, uh, gas and cable construction costs and daily expenses down by 50%. Okay, okay. It'll last 24 hours though, so that's not... It's, it's not really worth doing right now. Uh, apartment construction is 50% less. No. Re use residents' electoral clout to convince City Hall to allow you to take on more than... Uh, one more contract than usual. That's tempted. Tempting, rather. Uh, ad placement will give me infrastructure operating costs uh, that are 50% less. I think I'm going to just take that. And we'll see what happens. That should make me a little bit more money today because all of my infrastructure is going to be half... Of, uh, of what it usually is. I'm feeling pretty good about that as well. Plus, of course, we have all these new places built over here. We have the new offices. We're about to get two more studio apartments, so I'm feeling pretty good about how much money we're going to be making tomorrow. Uh, let's get you in here. We could go deluxe. They could use a plumber. I think we'll go for the deluxe apartments. 185 per day. Definitely seems like a good shot to me. You're having issues with your phone line, so we do need more phone switchboards. There's demand for 21. Uh, we are only producing 20. So what we'll do is pause for a second. Delete you, delete you, and delete you. This might be risky, but we're going to do it. We're going to get you in there. Now, I didn't need to delete the other thing, and I know it's going to just cost me money to replace it, but I do want to use this space quite nicely. 
Uh, so we'll do a phone switchboard. We'll do the more expensive one there. And that should help things a little bit. Now, obviously, once again, that was a lot of money to spend. Uh, but look how much we're making per day. 3,580 uh, 3, is not bad. That's going to be helped a lot by the fact that... Um, oh, you guys need gas as well. Okay. Let's get you some gas in there and hope that uh, that's not too much for the... Oh, you need water too. Okay, we might run, to, run into some issues here. You also need electricity. Yeah, you're probably going to need everything. You're probably going to need all the services that I didn't give you, right? That's, that's... Oh, you need water. Okay. Well, here's the issue. If I shifted these to the right, I could have put that there, that there, and I could have upgraded the water super easily. Uh, but instead, what we'll do is just temporarily go for the cheaper water option. And that should fix things a little bit. Now, th this is really nice to see. I'm honestly, I'm looking at this and I'm really pleased with the fact that we are making money. We've also unlocked medium restaurants, which is kind of exciting, actually. We could go for three medium restaurants up here. Alternatively, we could go for a completely new building somewhere and just fill it with restaurants, which we might very well do. We might very well go for a new building at some point uh, because I would like to get towards the hotel thing. Uh, it would be nice to get, you know, the, uh, the check-in thing here. Uh, we are going to want things like event venues, but we need the consultant upgrade for that first. Uh, now, where, do we, where are the consultants? I actually have no idea where the consultant thing is. Um, now, this is operations. Is it tourism? This needs a hotel front desk. So that will let me... I don't know what exactly that does. I'm going to be completely honest. I'm, I'm not entirely sure what I'm looking for here. So that's a lobbyist. That's operations. Consultant upgrades in the operations track. Okay, I think that's possibly what I'd want. I could throw that up there. How much is it, though? It's 500 up front, then it's... Okay, you know what? Let's do that. Let's get that in there. Uh, we could go for this office as well, which is a bloody big one, but we could certainly do it. This one's quite small. So let's get the aesthetics office in there. We can't get the tourism one, but we can get this one. So let's throw that in there as well. So we'll get those offices in, and we'll see what exactly that does. So that is the building manager. What is that unlocked for me? I don't know what that's unlocked for me, to be honest. What do I need for this consultant upgrade? I need to consult and upgrade new construction office. So where do we get those? I've honestly, honestly forgotten and it's annoying me. That's loans. That's the population. Oh, hello. We're still making good money. Not bad. Uh, so that's construction offices for consultants. That's building services. We don't really need any of this stuff. We could get a, we could get a little common area there. A little common area there could be nice. Let's give that a shot. Oh, someone moved out. Who just moved out? Who who moved out? Who was it? Some up here. Oh, hello. Why did you leave? Why did you leave? That was uh that was an accountant up there. Okay, not very happy about that. Gonna be honest. Uh, would rather they weren't leaving, but you know, to each their own, I suppose. Get that cleared out. And let's get another accounting office just in there. We'll go for you. And that should be fine. So we have our little common area here. Hopefully people are gonna... Gonna like that. Slightly reduces the spread of smells and noises. Fair enough. So that kind of thing would be useful. Yeah, these guys here could potentially complain about noise. Now you're having issue with power. Seriously? Oh yeah, 51. We have demand for 51. Um, I guess we could get rid of that. Let's give that a shot. Does that get rid of it? Yeah, it does. Okay, so that means I don't have to upgrade for a while. I have honestly, honestly forgotten where the consultants thing is. I really... Oh, here it is. Okay. So, new construction office is there. Uh, we wouldn't necessarily... Well, we could use a lot of this. Uh, but what we'd be wanting, I suppose, yeah, would be this one. The tourism and travel. So, event venues, hotel management. Yeah, we need... We need a resort manager, we need a hotel front desk, 
And we also need the casino license, which needs the event venues. So we need a hotel front desk and a resort manager. And we can't get the manager yet. Now, pub public transit could be useful because that will let me build a metro station down in the basement of the building, which could be useful. That'll mean that uh, people can come straight into the building and don't have to worry about rain. Small artworks and all that. I don't know if I'm interested. I'm really interested in this, but I think we'll go for the new construction office uh, first. That seems like it would be uh, the best bet there. So we'll get that eventually. I'm liking how this is looking, though. We do, of course, need to get ourselves a new uh, power thing here. So 250 per day or 750 per day. Uh, or alternatively, 1500 per day for 150 electrical connections. That's, that's a lot of money. Let's go for the cheaper one for the time being. Just to add 10 more connections and hopefully keep things going. Now, a lot of you guys are feeling kind of average. You guys are happy. You want bottled water services. You want copy services and courier services. Okay, these guys want a lot of services. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to expand down this way. Just like so. It would be nice to uh, not just go with a staircase here, but to be honest, a staircase is all we're going to get. So, um, yeah, it's going to have to be a staircase. So we'll get that there. Uh, then they want building services. So if we go to you, they want things like courier services. They want things like bottled water services and copy services. Uh, so there's a lot of things that the tenants want. And if they don't get them, they are eventually going to get really, really frustrated. Uh, so we are going to need to uh, get that as soon as possible. I would also like to get the extra uh, construction office here so I can get more construction staff into the building. Because what that'll do is mean that all the construction that we're doing is going to go so much quicker. And that's exactly what I want. So if you guys could uh, hurry up slightly, that would be absolutely beautiful. But at the same time, you know, do a good job. Don't rush it. Because if you rush it, then you do a bad job. Also, I'm fighting off the hiccups at the moment. Hence the pauses in my sentences. It's, um... It's a bit tricky doing uh, commentary and simultaneously fighting off hiccups. Uh, but I think I've won thus far. Uh, 2,605 per day still. That is not bad at all. It would be really nice if you guys would, uh, would get done with that, though. I'd like... There we go. We'll build that there. It's free to build, which is nice. It is 300 per day, but I feel like it's going to be worth it. I absolutely feel like this is totally going to be worth it. So uh, let's get some services in here. Let's get ourselves the courier services, 50 per day. That's fine. Uh, let's get ourselves the bottled water services. Let's get ourselves the copy services. And what else do people want? Let's have a look. So... Not present, no demand, no demand, no demand, that's fine. So there's no real demand about there anymore, that's fine. Uh, no demand for anything there. And we could do vending machines, we could again do that that thing there, the common area. Uh, let's see, take a few minutes to get your footwear fancied up. Tower dwellers will use these if they're on the same floor as their office or apartment. Okay, so that encourages you to put them everywhere, fair enough. Payphones, when you need to make a call that you don't want overheard by anyone. Tower dwellers will use these if they're on the same floor as their office or apartment. Okay. I don't know if I want that right now. What I do want to do, and I realize this is going to be a little bit of a pain, is uh, I want to get more power to these floors. So what I'm going to need to do is throw that in there and throw that in there and then run some electricity just the whole way across this floor. And that should get that all working. So that should make these uh, the people in these offices a little bit happier now that they have the services that they wanted. At least I certainly hope it makes them a bit happier. We have unlocked something new here. We have two bedroom apartments. Not bad. A fairly sizable uh, room though. So we're going to want to put those in a good location. But I think what I'll do is I'm actually going to come over here. And I think I'm going to start working on the uh, on the hotel. I think getting to work in the hotel could be a good idea. So I want to throw the hotel uh, right here. And I, I do want a basement area on it. So we're going to make it a fairly sizable space. Something like that. And we'll just go up a couple of floors to, uh, to see what we can do with this. So we'll go like that. We'll go like that. And that should do for the hotel for the time being. Uh, now we do, of course, need some elevators. I'm tempted to just put the elevators on one side. 
Very, very tempted indeed. I think we'll do that. Uh, so elevators can go like that. All the way there. A little bit expensive, obviously. We're gonna have to, um... We're obviously gonna have to, uh, get this place up and running and making money fairly quickly. Uh, I don't know if we need bins yet, so we're not gonna worry too much about that. But what we will do is go to... Uh, here. And we want the hotel guests to begin... Uh, the hotel guests check in to begin their stay right here. Uh, so, oh, hello. We've just unlocked something. Oh, is it because I was trying to place that? It's entirely possible. Can we place, oh, hello. What have we unlocked? Have we unlocked tourism? No. We need the front desk. Okay, let's get the hotel front desk. Let's throw it, uh, there. And that is going to need power, but that's okay. Because what we're going to do is we're going to get the wiring closets going up like this. We are going to get the water pipes going up like this. Not the water pipes, the plumbing closets going up like this. Then electricity is going to run to that floor. I'm just going to put it on all the floors like so. And that's now running, which means I can now go ahead and get the office for the resort manager, which is a sizable office indeed. Uh, but I can squeeze it in there, which is quite nice. So we'll do that. We'll get the resort manager office on the go. And we have this as well. Build services that are required by your hotel guests, such as housekeeping, small room services. Not bad. That's a that's small? That's that's small room services? Good lord. Uh, required by some services like hotel housekeeping in order to deliver large carts to various floors, but other service employees can use them as well. Okay, we're still making money per day. Is that like a big elevator? Oh my god, it is a big elevator. Okay. Uh, we may we, we may need a few of those. Um, right. One, two, three, four. Is that big enough? Yes, it is. So we do need to extend it this way a little bit. Which is fine. I'll make it work. It's 30 per day. That's totally fine by me. We'll get those in there like that. Okay. So can we get hotel rooms? Yes, we can. Single occupancy rooms are not big at all, which is beautiful to see. So let's get a couple of, um, let's get a few single rooms here. We can get five single rooms on each floor. Uh, let me cancel that one. And, uh, let me see what I can do with these. So we can go for a single hotel room. They're going to want electricity and water pipes. They prefer upper floors. Okay. Let's get a bunch of single hotel rooms here. They're not very flashy, obviously. They're uh, a little bit they're kind of garbage, really. Uh, but I'm feeling kind of good about this. And if people actually use them, then that's going to be brilliant news. That's going to be absolutely brilliant news. Do you guys want anything? I don't know if they would want anything, really. Uh, I'm very tempted to go for the larger rooms, though. Because what we can do is get like two of the large... Actually, you know what? Let me do a couple of large rooms like this. Let me get rid of that one. We'll get another large room there. Now, what is this? That's the that's the check-in. That's fine. We can't get event venues yet. We'll get that in a little bit. What we can do is get ourselves the common areas, which I think might be a nice idea. Now, I've completely, again, I've completely forgotten where those things are. Uh, they're in here somewhere. I have, I have honestly forgotten where they are. Um, no, that's not what I want. Where are the common areas thing? Where's the... How have I forgotten this? I did it like five minutes ago. Well, maybe a bit more than five minutes ago. Um, I have legitimately completely forgotten where you get the common areas thing. On lobbies. I could put like a lobby in there if I wanted to. Um, I've genuinely forgotten where you get the common areas thing. That's amazing. That's, that's... Oh, here, here's where it is. Right. Uh, so we could put pay phones there. We want a common area, though. Is that a common area? That doesn't look like a common area. Apparently, it is a common area. All right, we'll get those in there. And that'll hopefully keep people happy. Uh, now, what we can do is go for double hotel rooms. We'll give it a shot. They are 100 to build each. They do want... They actually want HVAC ducts. So... That's going to be interesting because we haven't got HVAC in the building yet. Now, we can do some HVAC down below. This will give us connections for 10. This will give us 10 connections. Um, we could go for some of these types, which are placed on sort of the exterior of the building, uh, which would give me 
20 connections. But we'll go for this one. We'll go for that one because that's probably the best one to uh, go for. Then we'll get the AC things in there. Now that is too expensive. Well, that's a problem. Uh, do I want to take a small loan? I don't need one, but I think I will just to get the HVAC in there. So there we go. I'm pretty sure we can afford that. Also, I'm going to turn off a bloody heater because it's really warm. Okay, we're better. <laughs> I'm good. It's all good. Don't worry about me overheating and melting as I record. Uh, right, we have the common areas. That one actually has a bar. Interesting. Uh, is anyone actually using the hotel? That's my real question here. I don't know if they are. Also, do these guys want anything? That room is not booked. That's fine, I suppose. It would be nice to see people wanting to come here, but I... I'm not holding my breath. Um... We're still making money, which is nice. Uh... I did take out a sizable loan. We don't have any... Yeah, we don't have any visitors currently. I'm, uh... Yeah, I'm not a big fan of the fact that we don't have visitors. How do we get people to come to the hotel? Oh, wow. If we... One of your utility meters broke down. If your utility usage is very close to total capacity, your infrastructure will be stressed and more likely to break down. Ah. Uh, so... What? That broke down. So, the power for the building has just broke down. It is being repaired. But, yeah, that's, um... That's not ideal. Uh, let's see. So, we are having some electricity problems. Demand is 67.2. Total production is 10? What's... Hold on a minute. Produ ah, right. So, we... Our production is not good right now. We need another one of these guys. Uh, so let me bulldoze you. And let me get you. Very expensive, but should cover all of the electricity problems. Uh, now, I'm noticing a lot of these places here are bloody filthy. Can I tell you guys to automatically renovate? I'm pretty sure there is a way to do that, isn't there? I would like you to renovate everything, but we don't have the money to, uh, to do that. I could swear there was a way to get you guys to automatically renovate, though, but apparently not. Okay, fair enough. We'll not worry too much about that. Um, I know I can get them to renovate 11 total. I could swear there's a way to get them to do that. I was certain there's a way to get them to renovate automatically. I thought I'd done it. I, I thought I'd done it before, but apparently not. We'll not worry too much about it. We can get another one of the maintenance offices there. It's probably a good idea to get another maintenance office, to be honest. What is this down here? Hotel rooms... Okay, so there's there's no recent reviews of the hotel rooms because no one is actually in the hotel. Fair enough. Uh, what is this? While active, this will decrease the room price and increase the visitor count for the next day's check-ins. Romantic rooms will increase the demand and rate for double hotel rooms and junior suites for the next day's check-ins. Event promoter will increase attend attendance and ticket price for events. No, you know what? Let's go for... Let's go for this. Let's try that. We'll see if we can get more people coming to the uh, coming to the hotel. That would certainly be nice. Although there isn't really that much reason to come to the hotel. Um, can I get you guys to just like renovate, renovate the renovate that and renovate the restaurants, if you wouldn't mind? Uh, because yeah, a lot of these places are getting worn down, and people are not going to like that. These guys, they're really not going to like the worn down places. That is going to just frustrate them. Uh, again, lots of people just wandering back and forth here, but these are all people that just... Oh, well, what did that break down? These are all people that aren't actually, like, booking anything. It's all just a bunch of like, hey, oh, this guy, look at this guy! Your first hotel guest has just checked in! Oh my god. Who is this? Sir! It's Dale! Living at single hotel room. Nice. Not bad. Not bad at all. Interesting that the single hotel rooms actually happen to have uh, AC units on the wall, considering there isn't actually any AC going through there. Oh, someone else is checking it. Look at this. Look at this. People are checking in. I'm really happy about this. I'm, I'm really happy about this. 
We have a working hotel. We also have a broken elevator. Not bad. Oh, man. We might make some good money off of this. Like, these hotel rooms are what? A hundred and something per night? Oh, it's 83 per night. Oh, well, whatever. Um, yeah, that's not bad. This guy's booked through tomorrow. Uh, we are going to need some hotel services. We are definitely going to need some services. But what kind of money are we making at the moment? One thousand. Oh. Oh. That's not much. That's... That's... It's really not much. Your hotel has 10 rooms booked. You gained one uh, prestige. Congratulations, you're on your way to building a great hotel. You know what? I am on my way to building a great hotel. Uh, I could put some nice shops in here. I could get some bigger... Oh my god, look at the size of that apartment! It's freaking enormous! Don't think we're going to be going for that, to be honest. Uh, we do definitely want to start working towards getting some... Hotel services in here, such as small housekeeping and things like that. Uh, we would probably need stuff like small room services. There isn't really any demand for it. But even things like uh, event setup services, just all that stuff is probably necessary for a good hotel. But yeah, I feel like it's going to take a little bit of time before that hotel is actually well and truly great. But... I feel like we're getting there, and I'm really, really happy with the fact that we have a, an actual sort of hotel over there. So, ladies and gentlemen, I think I'm going to leave it there for today. Thank you kindly for watching. This has been Project High Rise Las Vegas Part 2, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye